It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> Let's take a moment and check in on the leader of the free world, President Joe Biden, who this week was given a clean bill of health from his physician who declared Joe is healthy and vigorous and is fit to successfully execute the duties of the presidency. Mm. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, him, uh, foot, foot, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping traveling with them. I guess we traveled 17,000 miles when I was vice president. I don't know that for a fact. And uh, a solid meeting with um, with uh, the uh, they make a very good point. Here's the deal. And and Joan Shengang, I'm going to pass by Shanga. 159000 billion dollars let all men and women created by the, go you know the you know the thing you know the thing <laughs> now, joe biden has been <laughs> cognitively sound for years i mean only a perfectly sane man in peak physical and mental condition would recount a story like this i got hairy legs that turn that 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 that, that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair c come back up again they look at it so I learned about roaches I learned about kids jumping on my lap and I've loved kids jumping on my lap <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yes, no man has ever been better equipped to lead the United States and indeed all of the free world and the current commander in chief. We're in good hands, folks. <laughs> During Biden's presidency, he's also taken up the opportunity to prove to America that he's fit and healthy. Just look at these occasions that he shows us he can jog. <laughs> Your Excellencies, the President of the United States. Is this on? Yes, it is. And it didn't take long for President Biden's predecessor to be asked about the fall. He just fell on what stage? He's at the Air Force Academy. He actually fell down? Well, I hope he wasn't hurt. I hope he wasn't hurt. But it's the whole thing is, look, the whole thing is crazy. You got to be careful about that. You got to be careful about that because you don't, you don't want that. In November, the president was making a speech in New York with Governor Kathy Hochul ahead of the midterms when he bizarrely tripped on something and said it was black. We put a cap of $2,000 a year on prescription drugs for seniors, no matter what their cost. Two, 10, 12, 15, oops, stepping on them. It's black, anyway. 
In June last year, Joe Biden was cycling in Delaware with Jill Biden when he slowed down approaching the media, only to fall off the bike. We also need Ukraine to make changes to fix the broken immigration system here. We also need Congress to make the changes to fix the broken immigration system here at home. Well, that was America's 81-year-old President Joe Biden confusing Congress for Ukraine while speaking about fixing the immigration system that is broken under his leadership. And here is Joe Biden getting a bit lost as he reads his pre-written speech. The United States and Congress must, as I asked last week, in this, it's stunning that we've gotten to this point. You know, we need to fully appreciate, fully appreciate how it's wrong, how this is being viewed around the world. Now, this next clip we're about to show you is hard to dismiss as the president declares it's been 65 years since the October 7 attack on Israel by Hamas. But we know this year's Hanukkah is different. It's been 65 years since the deadliest day of the Jewish people since the Holocaust. 65 years. And here is the president earlier this year speaking about the government's commitment to infrastructure. Over a billion, three hundred million, trillion, three hundred million dollars. And here he is talking about the benefits of catching a train. And all the studies show, by the way, you get from, people get from point A to point B faster on a train than their car. They take the train. They take the train. Joe Biden may be the oldest president in America's history, but he's determined to show that he knows the country's biggest pop stars. Unfortunately, though, during this speech, he managed to confuse Beyonce, Taylor Swift and Britney Spears all in the same sentence. Now, just to get here, Liberty and Bell had to beat some tough odds in competition. They had to work hard to show patience and be willing to travel over a thousand miles. You could say even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance tour or, or, or Britney's tour. She's down in, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. Here's another look back at some of Biden's finest moments. The idea that um, Los Angeles and, uh, and uh, um, uh, um, what am I doing here? For two reasons. One, to, we haven't been able to communicate it in a way that is, uh, um, let, me, let me say it another way. Unfortunately, there are more and more of these moments as he's visibly confused. And let's not forget about the time Joe Biden said poor kids are just as smart as white kids. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids, black kids, Asian kids. No, I really mean it, but think how we think about it. And to the Gila Indian River community, the Gila, yeah, Gila uh, nothing wrong with me. <laughs> nothing wrong with me. There's some movement. There's been a response from the, uh, the, the, there's been a response from the opposition, but um, it, it, yes, I'm sorry, from Hamas. I've said before, Russia will not prevail in this war. Ukraine will prevail in this war. 
and we'll stand with them every single step of the way. That's what the compact says, loudly and clearly. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. You can beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President. I'm better. You are a hell of a lot better. <laughs> President Biden has been at it again. He's pulled another Ron Burgundy, reading everything in the auto queue, including instructions like pause. Imagine what we can do next. Four more years. Pause. Four more years. Pause. Four more years. No, Joe, you don't read out the instructions, but look at the official White House transcript of that speech where they claim what he said was inaudible. Uh, we all heard it. He said, Four more years. Pause. Four more years. And that wasn't the only Biden gaffe. In a sense, I don't know why he's, we're surprised by Trump. How many times does he have to prove we can't be trusted? Oh, I think he's well and truly proved it by now, Joe. You cannot be trusted. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if... We finally beat Medicare. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed.